This is not for show, sure, it's not for now and gone tomorrow. This is all I know, you're my people, you're my home. We bending holes with the curtains closed. That's gone in our tables, drinking soap. To wash up the ugly, to wash up the poor. To wash up the unforgiving, all we have is us. When you score goals, you make headlines, and this man is the leading marksman in the league. Does he have another goal in his future today? Well, the rain has been lashing down on the build-up to this game, and it's still falling here at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary position, as always, by Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Leicester City. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Nelson. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. And now the delivery. Not the corner, right on the back of the last one. So the corner played into the box. Wonderful block. And a goal has gone in in the Liverpool match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Roberto Firmino. He was on the end of a good cross and directed the ball back across the keeper. Six minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. An Arsenal corner, corner kick played over, and a no-nonsense clearance. It is to be a throw-in. Tonali with it, looking confident with the ball at his feet. Suat Serdar. On the ball, Briançon. Justin. The ball with Podence. Konstantinos Leifis. Podence. Quintilla. I understand there's been a goal in the Watford match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Watford. 19 minutes played, 1 1. Many thanks, Alan. Oh, he's through here. And it's there for him. And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. And they're playing again, and Arsenal are leading. Here's Lo Celso. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And putting his body on the line. There's been a goal in the Chelsea match. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Chelsea. 25 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. And Ian Acho has it. Now can he deliver? Tremendous ball played through. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? And now he must score. And he's done it. 
parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Even Steven won a piece in this match. Justin. On the ball, Briançon. Pure ball control. An important interception. For Dense. Good looking sequence. He might be able to carve something out. Hector Bellerin. And news of a goal coming through from the Etihad Stadium. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a second goal for Manchester City. 35 minutes played. 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. For Dense. Suat Serdar. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Daniel Malin. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Teammate in support. And there's the goal. And it's not as though we didn't predict it. Well, if you spend most of the game in and around your own box, this is bound to happen. They need to try and get at least 30 to 40 yards further up the pitch. Well, what a time to score. The forwards are in absolute dreamland. The defenders slugging their way back to the half-time team talk. They're not going to enjoy this. And underway again. Arsenal, other side in front. The and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Two minutes of added time. Fluency of movement. That is that for the first half here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Quintilla. Tielemans. Justin. And Ayose Perez with it. Justin. The cross is on. Ayose Perez. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Leicester controlling possession brilliantly. But after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence. Get around them, as opposed to trying to go through the middle. Receiving news of a goal in the United match, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester United. 55 minutes, please. Must score! A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Grimaldo with it. Crossing possibilities. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Here's Lo Celso. Dangerous looking attack. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Sandro Tonali. Oh, he fancies his chances. Simple for the keeper dealing with that long-range effort. And a goal has gone in in the Liverpool match. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Liverpool. 64 minutes played. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Arsenal facing Fulham. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Couldn't hang on to it. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Leicester City facing West Bromwich Albion. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game. It has to be! And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. 
And a substitution in the offing. A sloppy pass. And fed forwards. Surely! Will it come back to haunt them? A golden opportunity squandered, Lee. What a chance. That was the game right there. Getting news of a goal in the Liverpool match, Alan. It's another goal for Liverpool. 75 minutes played, 4-0. Many thanks, Alan. Promising sequence. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. And Bayern have been very active in the transfer market, and they've made a big move personnel-wise. Good news for their supporters, Lee. Well, Derek, a reported figure of £70 million, pounds, or around that anyway. Are you getting value for money with that? I would say so. He's a top player, he is. Got all the qualities you want in a £70 million pound player. Quintilla. Here's Tielemans. Briançon. Given away... Textbook defending inside the box. Verbic. And very deftly cut out. One minute remaining. Without the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Well, body in the way. Pulls it back. Wonderful block. And there it is, the final whistle. Some questions regarding the match. Thanks very much.
This is the Vitality Stadium here in Bournemouth, in the south of England. Martin Thank Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. FA Cup football we've got for you. It's Bournemouth against Arsenal. Yeah, the winner takes all. No second leg in this tournament, so I'm expecting two sides to be on the front foot from the first whistle. Can put them in front here. Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Now Lucas Torreira. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward and... Uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. Too close to the keeper in the end. Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. The referee's going to take action here. Well, it is an early yellow card here, and that rather sets the tone, perhaps, this referee. He might, uh, I don't know, live to regret it. The player might certainly live to regret it. He might, and uh, it'd be interesting to see if that affects his game, because he's on a tightrope now. Went with the header, and he's good in the air too, but not quite good enough then. Bit unfortunate. Next time, maybe he'll bury it. Oh, yeah. Kelly. He's gone in very fairly and won the ball cleanly. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. And this time, yes, they do score. Well, it's been coming and they've been playing well enough to deserve this goal. Nicely created, well finished and very well merited. Right to the side of the goal and nicking off the inside of the post on its way in. On another day, that might have rebounded back into play, but not this time. So, to confirm, Arsenal are ahead. Now they can swing into attack, and he's got some help. Callum. Stopping the cross, important job for the defender. Good passing, probing. Oh, great chance. Well, the keeper got to that and probably should have done. Yeah, you would expect him to save it, and he did. And Arsenal get a corner. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting the attack. And that's given away possession. Now Sessegnon, now Kelly. 
Still searching for an equaliser. There's some good interplay here. Bournemouth seen more of the ball today, but when you look at how they've played, no real surprise that they are trailing in this match because they haven't asked enough of the opposition, haven't really moved the ball with the same kind of slickness that they normally do. And unless that changes, they're going to lose this match. Should be! It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. That was a puff out your cheeks moment and phew, got away with it. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Cuts it back well. He's blocked the shot well. That's out of danger there with that clearance. On the attack here. Obiang. The fourth official is Two minutes of added time. It says on the board. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Here we go for the second half of this Emirates FA Cup tie. Yeah, the first half wasn't bad. Hoping for more of the same here. Now Sessegnon, could be in trouble. A quick note for your diary, make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture, Bournemouth, and they'll be facing West Ham United away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Everton Samuel Callow trying to spot a potential ball to open them up. They're keeping the ball well. Taking on a couple of opponents now. The chance to put in a decent cross, but he's actually put in a wasteful one. Oh, well, he spotted the pass and cut it out. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Could whip it in from here. Shielded it well, that's good skill. Going to the near post here. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? They're playing Liverpool in the next match in the semi-final. And I think it's a one-goal game here either way. And I can't really see too much between the sides. I think it'll be close. The substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. Obia. Now Kelly. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Bayer Leverkusen have been involved in the pursuit of a play. They've got their man now. Well, considering figures that are bandied about these days, about 35 million. Well, it wasn't the most powerful header, so it was a very straightforward save. Yeah, it didn't quite get the timing in that header. It was a weak effort. Now Lucas Torreira. And the tackler has been very successful there. He's got possession. For the crowd sensing that their side's running out of time here. He needs something to happen soon. Everticinho. Milivojevic. Into the attacking third. Tackle here. Blocked off the pass there. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. It's not really a way, poor clearance. Real chance! Well, safe hands from the goalkeeper there, not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy though, to take it a little easy, take your eye off the ball. Well, they're still very much in this game, and they'll end up kicking themselves if they do lose it, because normally they do create more chances than this. Now Lucas Torreira. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Very impressive, the support for this team. Funny the team could be quite so impressive themselves. Guiding it through. It's 
broken down and they'll have to try again. Well, look at the room in which to attack. Shots on here. Good work by the goalkeeper. Arsenal's success in this match down to a consistent level of performance and it should provide them with a victory. That's a fine tackle. Two minutes left, that's added time. Two minutes. There's only a minute to go. They play well to intercept. Well, the referee has blown his whistle and the game has ended 1-0. Can we just grab a minute of your time for a few questions? Thank you.